He does! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy one year! Been on YouTube for one year! Woo! What a year! Oh my lord! Oh, good times, man! Oh, finally made it here! Finally! I thought it was longer than that! I guess not! Thank you, Rigamortis86. Mr. Rigamortis86, copy. What's your vector, Victor? Uh, one year on YouTube. The greatest year of my life. I mean, besides that whole, you know, getting married thing, you know, kids, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, besides stuff like that, you know. But, fantastic. I remember, I remember back, 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 back in the day. I remember watching Shannon and Dr. Silveridge. I'd be chatting, Shannon, I'd be like, hey, you know what's a good idea? I said, you should show uh, Karate Kid, that series. He'd be like, yeah, that's pretty uh, good idea there, young fella. And then finally I was like, you know what? I don't think he's going to show stuff like that. Then I did it. I was in my basement for like two weeks just recording stuff on this stupid phone. And I was just watching it by myself going, I'm an idiot. And then my wife's like, this is how you do it, dumb dumb. Yeah, haven't looked back yet. I made so many friends. Thank you guys. Ugh. I mean, I'm talking, everybody. Thank all you guys. And ev once I started putting videos out, everyone was so nice to me, man. Everybody. Started with Shannon and, uh, and uh, Rod. They were just so nice and welcoming, man. Awesome. Awesome. Listen. Uh, I got a package in the mail, a package in the mail, a uh -uh, package in, for my buddy Easy. Take it easy. Ooh. I was running down the road trying to loosen my load, and Easy sent me some comics. All right, so um, we're gonna open that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get my letter opener and stuff. But Sonia got into a little trouble the other night. She tried to uh, hotwire a cop car. Great idea, stupid. Barbarian chicks. Hey, look at Superman, huh? I found that in the garbage back in the day. But listen, I got to talk to you about a great friend of mine. Uh, I've known him since I started the channel, Brother Ron. My, my uh, buddy Ron Foss. Prayers, brother, dude. I love you, man. I love you, dude. You got to get... He's, he's on his way to uh, recovering from major back surgery. I'm talking like Wolverine, adamantium, full-on implant. And... Uh, it's scary stuff, man, and uh, he has to learn how to uh, re retrain his muscles and his legs after this. It's going to be a long recovery. Ron, brother Ron, I love you, buddy. This show goes out to you. We're going to show a little Aquaman. Oh, yeah, Ron's a huge Aquaman fan. Ron is, Ron is Aquaman, and he can't do anything. So we'll do a little Aquaman. He's, he's a big Superman fan. He's an old-school DC guy like me. But he also likes the new stuff, and he keeps me up to date. Dude, you and your family, your daughters, dude, you're going to get better. You're going to be the best. And thank you for everything, Ron. All right, man? That's, how, that's my routine. That's how I find out what's going on in the, in, during the day. I like to make a video maybe once or twice a week, and then in the morning, check this out. Let's go over what my weekly poll was. I read everything. This was uh, John Stewart Green Lantern. This is good. This is good. He beat up that plague ring for the most part, but it's still alive. But he's in this dimension where the plague ring uh, originated from. And now he's in big trouble. Blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on and on. But it keeps me riveted. Good stuff. Green Lantern, issue number seven. Yeah, I wake up early every morning, five o'clock. And then I go to my little local gas station and get some gas. I get my coffee. That's always a, a, a story in there. Justice Society of America. If you like to wait around with your uh, hands underneath your coolie for six months at a time for the next issue. But this was good, man. Real good. And, um, yeah, uh, they're bringing in all ex-villains, like uh, um, legacy villains, like the Icicle. And, uh, uh, like, um, it's all, all they're bringing in villains to, and turning them into the JSA members. And it's actually very good. You just got to wait around a long time because Jeff Johns apparently has another hobby. But it's really good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So then, yeah, this gas station I've been going to for years. The Indian guy owns it. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. He's like, what's up, Iggy? <laughs> I can tell you a story how I met Bobby. Long time ago when I first started going to this gas station. And Superman was a great read. Good stuff. So I go to this gas station. This is years ago. This is when he first bought the gas station. Bobby. Hey, I'm out there. 
I said, yeah, 20 bucks on pump two. I go out there. And I'm like, this thing ain't working. I'm like, and then here is he. Here is him on the microphone. Lift the handle. Lift the handle. I'm like, it ain't working. I did that. Lift the handle. Five, ten minutes. I'm like, I'm like, I'm finally, I go in. I'm like, he goes, what is your problem, stupid? I said, listen. I said, I was so mad. I, kids, Sophia, cover your ears. I said, are you a penis? Without him batting an eye. This, this is Bobby. He goes, I am the penis in your mother's vagina. I was like, I said, I respect you, sir. I said, let's start over. I am Higgy. Hello, Higgy. I'm Bobby. I was like, all right. So we, we break each other's stones all every day. Every day I get my coffee. He's like, how's it hanging? I said, ah, you know, Bob, you know, Bobby. He's like, all right, bro. Hey, keep it busy. I said, keep it busy. I, I said, I will. I walk in. I was like, bing, bing, bing. He's like, hey, Higgy, what did it be? I said, it be you. I'm like, Bobby. I was like, have a bad day. You first, you piece of crap. I said, all right. So now what he gets is he gets all these. He gets these stickers all over his gas pumps. I'm like, I got these. I got these. Iggy, what is with these stickers? That's my buddy, Bobby. So anyways, Justice League, Godzilla, and Kong. Good, good, good. I mean, if they should wrap it up. If, don't let it go on and on. This is wrap it up. All right? So then I get my gas, I get my coffee, and I, I sit because I still have 20 minutes before I get into the, my garage to go to work. And I do the Wordle. I do Wordle, but I look at all the chats and I catch up on some YouTube channels I want to watch. And I answer all the chats. I chat with everyone. And this morning, thank you, Ron, for sending me an update. He had his surgery. And because me and me and Hawk Woman have been praying for you, brother. And good luck with the recovery, man. If there's anything you need, call Higgy Pop. I'm going to get in the Hawkmobile, and I'm up there. Love you, buddy. This was good. This is still going good. All right? And then I read, oh, so watch this, watch this now. So I picked up these, I'm on the Marvel team up kick, baby. And I also, hold on, there's gotta be another one somewhere. There's gotta be. I had one. Let's see, let's see. That's my buddy Bobby. He's a hoot. Yeah, so see this thing? I got to, I put this up uh, for Ron. I, I have a I have a, a ton of Supermans. I even have an Aquaman up there. All right, but I, I find everything in the garbage. When I was a kid, I was legendary. They call you garbage picker. That's what they call you down here. Like it's like they're they're like making fun of you. Oh, he's a garbage picker. Damn Skippy, I find all sorts of gems. When I was a kid, I I had my parents. They were nervous one day. My mom loves to tell the story. This is like the only story she knows from beginning to end without forgetting a thing. I was, uh, I, I was lost. I must have got lost. This is Marvel Team Up issue number nine. All right. Lady Marania, comic books at her feet with Iron Man. All right. The cover's by John Romita. You like Romita Coladas. One year anniversary. Woo! And um, Gaspar Saladino. This is a good, fun, fun read because Spider-Man, with his banter, he's always making fun of Shellhead. Uh, he's like, mm -hmm -hmm, and, then, and Iron Man's like, ha, 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 and they're like, hee, hee, hee. But it was a fun read. I read it yesterday, and uh, they're, they're fighting um, Zarko, all right? He's the uh, Tomorrow Man, but it's also, they're going against Kang, Kang, but it's good stuff. And um, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, this was, um, the art inside was by Ross Andrew. And if you want to see something funny, this is how I, I always had to wear hand-me-downs as a kid. And let me show you the pants that I was chilling out in as a kid, getting on the school bus. Not only was I known as a garbage picker, but I was known as, um, I was known as Jimmy Checkered Pants, just like Peter here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was a huge fashion plate. I mean, whoo. And all the ladies like me when I was a kid. I remember when I was really little. Listen to this. I'll get back to the garbage picking thing. When I was really little, these two girls, they were like, they were already like 13 or 14. And they were talking on, in the other driveway across the street. And I was like five, six or seven. And I really, I always, they always used to call me, cute, cute little kid. I want, I want to be a man. I want to be your, your boyfriend. You understand? So I, I grabbed a black Sharpie. 
and I, <laughs> I, I turned myself into Tony Stark. I drew a mustache on my face. I was just dreaming. I was dreaming about this. But when I saw him outside, I already had the mustache on my face. And I think I forgot I had it on my face. So I run across the street. And they're like, hey, Jimmy. They're, they, and I go up to him. And I'm like, I got this giant. I'm like this. I got this giant mustache on my face. I'm like this. I'm like six years old. I'm like. And they're like. Ah, ah. I was like, what? what? I was like, oh, my God. I blew it. You got a mustache, that's so cute. I'm like, no, I'm not cute, I'm your boyfriend. And I got Marvel Team Up, issue number 25. All right, Gil Kane and Frank Giacoa are on the cover. All right, this is, he's fighting the whole animal kingdom. Birdman, uh, Ape Man, and um, who is he? Ape Man, Birdman, and Catman. All right, I didn't, uh, but there's a great art in here. Who does it? Art? Oh, Jim Mooney, outdid himself. This is uh, September of 74. Close the door. Check this out. I got all these at... S Second Alarm Comics! And of course, they're like... <laughs> I went there today, too, man. I got to check on my boy, Jim, at Second Alarm Comics. Because it's raining like the dickens down here. And he gets flooded out every now and again. I'm like, dude, if this place gets flooded, you can count on me to come and pick up all these comics and take them to my house. But um, wait till you see this, all right? Spidey and Dee Dee, Hornhead, get together. But well, check out the centerfold. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Wait till you see. See, he's fighting this guy, Birdman, Ape Man, and Catman. He dispatched... Look at this. Jim Mooney. Look at that. I'm going to get this tattooed on my butt. I'm sorry. That's disgusting. My back. Makes you want to draw. You guys, I want you to get inspired I want, by that. I want you to start drawing, all right? Guess, get yourself some paper. Instead of getting paper and rolling doobies, draw on it, all right? Living in a van down by the river. Get the paper and don't roll in doobies. Sketch on it. Oh, man. Lots of fun, man. It's been a blast this past year. I mean, we were doing everything. I mean, hold on, see? Remember? Flash, 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 flash. I was, uh, oh, I was, uh, we did some westerns. Woo-wee! wee Two gun hickey! <laughs> yep. What else we do? What do I got? You got me. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, it was it. Oh, yeah, the PT skipper. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we did, um, some detective books. Yes, how do you know you go? Here. Then we did, um, oh, went over Adam Strange. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, my wife's still looking for a bike helmet. I mean, <laughs> it's not around anymore. Oh, yeah. And I was like, go again. Come on. See, Good times. Good times. Oh, Robin Banks. I mean, we did it all this past year, man. Oh, we, we had to do what we had to do. Bag of tricks, and I was like, Oh my god, oh, Hawk Woman was mad all year. Oh, it's crazy. Lots of memories, man. Lots of memories. Lots of ah, Streisand memories all alone in the moonlight. I can dream of a new day, but um, I went to this antique shop. Uh, yesterday after work, all right, and I've been there before, and I'll show you what I got. I picked this up. I I want to get as many of these as I can, but th this guy has high prices on these things. This is Jungle Gym, all right. I have about three or four of them, and this is a Dell Ten Center, and uh, it's really nice. I liked it. I read it, and uh, he's fighting this Black Panther. He's raising heck with these villagers, and he's helping out. Good old Jungle Jim. Good stuff. Classic. Classic book. Yeah, I'm trying to get his... The guy at this uh, antique shop, it's like the next town over in Brantford, Connecticut. He's got a lot of them. But this was the cheapest price he had on one. It's in great shape. I don't know why he decided this one's less expensive than the other ones. He's got like 30 bucks on these things. This one was for 10 And that's way over than I wanted to pay. It's a good thing I stole it. Okay. Then what did I get there? What did I get there? 
Oh, hold on. Hold on, everybody. I'll show you what I got. Oh, I got to show you this, stuff. These are out of order. You're out of order. This, this whole damn place is out of order. I'm going to take a flamethrower to this place. All right. I had this hanging on my wall, and I, I've been meaning to take it off the wall because I, I bet went over Marvel Team-Up for the past two weeks. This is one of my favorite ones with Brother Voodoo. This is his second appearance, I think. August of 74. Close the door! Hawkman, one year, buddy. Crushing it. Um, Jim Mooney again. Uh, does the R inside and everything. And um, I like uh, Brother Voodoo. Was, I mean, he, Brother Voodoo stepped up into the main uh, wizard for Marvel uh, Universe once uh, Doctor Strange stepped down for a hot second. You know, and um, it's great. I love it. I wish he was more prominent instead of in the background than his brother over here. But this is Marvel Team Up issue number 24. Guys, please, uh, prayers and thoughts with um, our brother Ron. He's, it's, a, it's a tough time, man. And uh, if he didn't get the surgery, he, he wasn't going to be able to walk. It's a young kid. He's younger than me. He's dudes in shape. He's just back is shot. And I picked this up. Our Army at War. This is where, if you recall... You recognize this, the styling of this cover with the blue borders? I picked one up a little while ago, and it had yellow instead of blue. And it, this one is issue number 136, and the yellow one is issue number 135. This is um, November of 63, Cuckoo Kachi. And, um, I mean, Cubert is crushing it. Cubert! Here he is. Here he is. I mean, how do you do it, man? With no arms? Joe. And uh, this is cool. This one's called, um, I read this, Make Me a Hero. This young kid comes into Easy Company, and he's a pain in the keister. And um, he, uh, he's with Sergeant Rock, and he's up Sergeant Rock's butt. He's like, make me a hero. I want to be a hero just like you. I want to do something heroic. Make me a hero. He gets his chance, and he blows it. So, but it's cool. It's cool. Those krauts got what they had coming. And uh, Joe, you outdid yourself, brother. Have I said before, nice headband. Remember when you told me it couldn't be your son? <laughs> do you remember? I do. I got two words for you. Therapy. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm totally, I, I thought I was like a, a year and a half doing this at least, you know. But, um, Rigor Mortis 86 uh, thank the Lord um, told me because I was clueless as always. And um, so when I was a kid, I was uh, always garbage picking. And um, I picked this up at the tag sale. I mean, at the flea market. I mean, what's it called? The uh, antique shop. Hello. Um, Fantastic Four issue number 97 because it was nice and cheap. This is in a condition of whoa plus. But they fight the creature from the Lost Lagoon, all right? But it's not even... It's actually an alien, all right? And he has an alien girlfriend, and they live in this lagoon. And the Navy's like, man, we keep on getting our ship wrecked by some sort of creature. And they're out there, the Fantastic Four, on vacation. But the Navy says, hey, Mr. Reed, Dr. Reed, can you help us out? He's like, yeah, sure. So they go down there, and they encounter this guy. And he's nuts. This is in uh, 70, I think. 70 of, 1970 of April. Issue number 97. And uh, typical, just Kirby crushing. Yes, and Vander Putin, I think, is inking, I believe. And I have no info on it. I'm just spitballing it. And um, so, one of these, one day when I was a kid, I mean, I was young, and I was like five or something. Everyone's, uh, my, all my family's around, they're like, my, wife, my mother's like, where's Jimmy? And everyone's like, I don't know, who cares? More food for us. No, she's like, where is he? I don't know. They looked all around the, the first immediate block, then two block radius. Then now the whole neighborhood's out with torches. Jimmy, Jimmy. Right? They find me like two miles, like, like way down. I walked because when we're driving one day in, in our station wagon, I eyeballed someone threw out a big wheel with like three, uh, like one tire missing. And I saw it and I was like, and I, in my head, I'm like, yeah, that's mine. And um, I walked there. And I, they, I freaked them out. And they finally found me. I was dragging a wheel, uh, a big wheel back. And they're like, get over here. I was like, my big wheel. 
They're like, you big dummy. Um, I found this at the antique shop. This is funny. We got a Neil Adams cover. The guy didn't know it was a Neil Adams. He, he had a cheap price on it. I was like, oh, yeah, baby. But this is funny. I see Hawk Woman doing this all the time. She's always trying to show up. She's like, I, can't, I don't get her. And she's like jumping off the roof. But this is this family. This is the mother of the family. They get into a car accident, and everyone, their family dies. And these two aliens appear, like apparitions. They're like, we could bring them back to life if you, but, 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 and it, but you got to do what we say. And she's like, all right. And they, they, they bring them back to life. And they're like, you only have 24 hours left to live, but you're going to be invulnerable. And she's going skydiving without a parachute. And so, I mean, it's insane, man. And this is, um, Irv Novik does the uh, art inside. And I always liked this cover because I thought it was funny. I mean, she looks like a lawn dart, man. I'm like, hey. I remember my uh, second girlfriend was always pulling stunts like this. I mean, I'm like, oof. We called her Lantern Head. I mean, she had a chin on her. She could, oof. Um, this is May of 71. And, okay. Now, we are back at Second Alarm Comics. And I'm talking to my boy Mike at Second Alarm Comics, right? And, uh. I, I eyeball this. This is, I'll be honest with you, this isn't a condition of whoa, minus. But uh, it's Adventure Comics, issue number 344. And he, Mike goes, I was going to throw that out. But then I stopped myself. I said, Jim, would, Higgy would like this. I said, absolutely. I said, if you ever throw out a comic, I'm going to rip your head off. And um, this is great. It, I mean, it has all the uh, Legionnaires. It has Matter Eater Lad in it, for crying out loud. I had to crack it open and show Mike what he was about to do. I said, you're going to throw this out? I said, Matter Eater Lad is in there. I mean, they got a Blockade Boy. I mean, all the key, the major cogs of the Legion. I mean, he's throwing this stuff out. And um, Weight Wizard. I mean, who, I mean, what are you doing, dude? So, it's very readable. I loved it. We'll go over it someday. When you got time. I got... I got Packages to open from easy, an A-OK. An A-OK stands for um, another old canoe. I don't know if you guys know that. A-OK, I'm a kid. A-OK stands for um, apes on Krypton. Did you guys know that? You're learning stuff every day, every day. Memories of alone in the moonlight. Then I was over there. One minute. Back phone. Ah, let's see here. Uh, Hawkman at the Hawk's Nest. Ho oh, ho! Excelsior! <laughs> it's Stan. Stanley. What's up, buddy? Yes, indeed. One year. One year. Thank you. You're calling me from the other side, I hear. That's good. You suck. You're coming in loud and clear. Oh, I am a true believer. Thank you. I know. I'm, a, I'm DC for me. But you listen, you did such a great job. I mean, I, you got me, man. I wish I was in the bullpen stand. I met your lookalike a couple weeks ago. This guy. You, must, you guys must have been long-lost brothers. Hey, hey, listen. Thanks for the call, buddy. I, I, I Really, man. Thank you. Thank you. Excelsior to you. Take care, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, man. Read your comics and make you smart. Stan. Stan. I did a... I got this book on Stanley. I read about him. And he was, he does what I do. He, he used to climb, when he went to the service, he was, um, I don't know what branch of the service he was in, but he was, he would climb telephone poles. That's what I do. Hold on, I can show you. He, um, I think that's where he, he must have been caught, he must have got, uh, took some incoming uh, fire because uh, I think they shot his hair right off. Nice toupee. I mean, these, some guys, listen, the town I live in, people have some crazy wigs, man. These guys, I, I mean, we're talking old Italian guys. They're like, all right, shoes, socks, giant wig, chin strap for the wig. I mean, it's just like, whoa. It's like it's a coonskin cap. Let me show you. I had to climb yesterday at work. Hey, oh, I'm 50 years old. I could climb. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here's Higgy Pop, climbing the telephone poles. Oh, yeah, baby. Getting it done. Getting it done. That was yesterday. Not today, because today was raining. I had to go work today. It was raining like a mother. It's still raining. We're supposed to get three inches of rain today. 
I'm sure Rod is getting snow. I'm sorry, buddy. So anyway, second alarm comments. Here we go. Look at that. House of Secrets. Oh, yeah. Um, the cover's by Dick Dillon and uh, Sheldon Maldorf. And uh, some Ugats. Some Ugats wrote Mano. Whoever met. Hey, Mano. What's up, Mano? I used to have a, uh, my Spanish teacher in high school had a toupee. <laughs> Mr. Gay. <laughs> nice name. Nice name. So I, he, I used to get in trouble all the time because I used to go, Senor Gay! He used to get mad. He used to go, Senor Gay, get up here. I think I told you about him, yeah. I'd, I'd be all of a sudden in the middle of class, I'd go, Senor Gay! And then we had to do a skit for a, a project. You had to do a, to, uh, make a commercial and videotape it. That's when camcorders first came out. And I did mine. You have to do it all in Spanish. Mine was, I pretended to be the Terminator, and I went into a, a muffler shop. And it was called, uh, and uh, this is my lines. It was, it, was, it was supposed to be, my mother does not allow me to pay a lot for this muffler. And I had the, I had the sunglasses on, all right? I was the Terminator. I had the leather jacket, the sunglasses. And I go, mi madre no me permite pagar mucho por esta muffler. Got an A on that one. Aced it. He goes, good job, Senor Higgins. I said, thank you, Senor Gay. And, um. I read this. There's a couple stories in here. There's even um, a Mark Merlin story. This is what's on the cover, Mark Merlin. But Eclipso's in there. Eclipso is a, he's like a scientist or a doctor. Um, his name is Bruce Gordon, but he's, he becomes overwhelmed with uh, the Eclipso, and he turns into a nut. But a uh, Mark Merlin story, and there's also uh, Peter Puptent, the Explorer, little story in here. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. It's, uh, the Eclipso story is a reprint from uh, Showcase, but... This is House of Secrets, issue number 68. Close the gate. Yes. And I picked up this. This is for the Colorado kid, because he has the first issue of this. Sherlock Holmes. This is about the Hellhound. And uh, this is great, man. Great art. I think... Um, uh, who does the art? I should know. Sir Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes. And it's uh, the climax of the Curse of the Hellhound. It is Archie Goodwin, ba ba ba, Marv Wolfman Consulting, beep beep beep. It's a uh, Doug Mensch and Val Eric. And check it out. Just starting off with Hello, yes, yes, Sherlock Holmes. Hello, Sherlock. And um, but just. This is how you ink, all right? This is what I want to see. And uh, I'm going to give this to the Colorado kid so he could read that. My bro. Oh, tomorrow, me and bro, Colorado kid, we have plans to go to an indoor flea market in Bridgeport. I was notified there's some Partridge Family comics down there. My buddy Dave, who has the biggest comic book collection I've ever seen in my life, he notified me, he said, Higgs, there's some Partridge Family comic stuff there, and you better get there. Every Sunday, I said, I'll be there. This kid's got comics. I mean, you walk into his house, you're like, this, comic books, and he's got all these uh, statues. And his wife must be on uh, Quaaludes. So this, is, this one goes out, I'm about to show you, to my buddy Jambo. Also, Jambo showed the best Western comics I've ever seen in my life the other day. But Jumbo Comics, issue number 138, Sheena. And um, Sheena is a Golden Age uh, character, right? And um, she's the first. She's the first female uh, character to have um, her own title in comics. I mean, it was a, if she first came out in, like, Fiction House in the Golden Age in, like, the, in 42. She came out in the spring of 42. And then Wonder Woman came out in the summer of 42. And this is in great shape. I got this today at Second Alarm Comics, and Jim, the owner, goes, happy anniversary. And he got it. I got it for cheap. Cheap. I was like, yes. Look at that beauty. And it's in great shape. It's um, Sheena. All right? And there he is. Look at this guy. Hey, how are you? And um, it's in great shape. All right. 
great shape, man. Colors are popping. I love it. I love it. This is 1950. Those were the days. Yes. Not bad for a garbage picker. Now, at that antique shop, I picked up this. You guys remember this movie in the 80s? I saw this movie. We were up in Vermont. The whole family in the station wagon. Issue 1 and 2 by Marvel Comics. We saw it at a drive-in. Yes. So, um, this, was, uh, this is the movie adaptation from Marvel. Issue number 1 and 2. It says, uh, Gray, Gray Morrow is on the cover. All right? So I'm going to eyeball this tonight, probably. And that, that's what blew my mind. I remember, in the movie, she was riding a zebra. It was a white horse with black stripes painted on it. Nice, nice, nice. We call that a stunt horse. Yep. And, um, I love it. I love it, yeah. I was, it was either that Jumbo comic, or I was going to get a nice Mighty Mouse comic. But I went with the jumbo. Here I come to save the day. It's Mighty Mouse. He's on his way. On the sea or on the land. All right. Now. 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 Sonia! Come here. You're in trouble, by the way. Oh, getting called by the cops in the middle of the night. Hot wire in a cop car. Great, great, great. Sword, please. Thank you. Yeah, you better pout. This is my letter opener, guys. Yeah, go. I'll call you when I need you. Go talk to Hawkwoman. I'm sure there's some dishes you could do or something. What? Don't you. She, she gave me the bird. All right. Look at look, look, Easy got me. Oh, Easy told me. He goes, he goes, listen, I'm sorry, but that thing is taped up good. I said, listen, pal, I got this, Easy. This ain't my first rodeo, hombre. All right, let's do what we got here. Okay, you guys seen it? Okay. All right, All right hold on. This is, what, this is the hard part. That, oh, I got it up here. Oh, hold on. Easy. Good job. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me see. All right, you may be right. Hold on. Let me get this thing. Right here, I got it. Hold on. Easy. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, buddy. Ugh. You guys gotta check out uh, Easy's channel, man. I remember meeting all you guys one at a time, man. And all of a sudden, you started chatting me. I'm like, these guys are great. Then you get to know each other, and um. I give you out my, my, my we could talk all the time. It, guys, it changed my life for the best. You guys are the best, man. Easy. Thank you. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get this. Where? Knife. Knife. We need a knife. Look who's holding the knife. Kissinger. It's not looking good. All right. Easy. I sent something out to uh, my buddy Easy. He should be getting it on Tuesday. Tuesday. Nice packing job, buddy. Nice. Let's see. All right. So, um, yeah, I met all you guys. And then I was on a hell of a roll there. When I first started the channel, I had to get hernia surgery. And <laughs> I was making a video every day, man. It was great. It was nuts. And then, it, you know, you could start doing stuff. I was like, uh, you could start making characters. You know, I was making helmets and masks and stuff. I was pretending I was robbing banks. It was a great time, man. We had a blast. And then my, the Hawk one was like, you know, you're going to run out of stuff to show people. I said, never. I don't have enough time. I want to show. Oh, she doesn't get it. Women. Women. Easy, man. Look at you getting nuts. Thank you, buddy. Highly valuable stuff. All right. I'm so excited. I just can't hide. I think Easy is a little like me, too. I think he's a garbage picker, also. Better than a nose picker. Is this some sort of joke? Is this like one of those Russian eggs? Remember, 
Hey, easy. When you get some time, uh, why don't you go uh, run with scissors? I'm only kidding. I, I love you, man. Me and Easy are not getting married anymore. We decided to, you know, make an adult decision for once in our lives and not get married. All right, let's see. We're not getting married because I heard that he's flat-footed, and I don't want to hear flip, 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 flip all through the night, you know? All right, jeez. I mean, what's going on, Easy? I mean, were you bored or something? Is this a joke? It's a Russian doll. You're you're killing me. Come on, easy. I mean, you you would think there were the 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 post office was going to drag it from behind the truck all the way to Connecticut. Come on, man. Oh yeah. Oh, a big old stack, yo. All right, thank you, brother. Woo! All right off the hop. Lady Marania. Who, who was I just talking about? Marvel team up. This guy, he knows, he knows. This was on top. Oop, we have a note. We have a note. We have a note. <clears throat> Hold on. Higgy Pop. I hope these books help you fill in some holes in your head. <laughs> I put that part in. Run, he said. I also included some mini posters for you new ma roll rolling Marvel files. Yes! I'll check those out right now. Um, take care, brother, and thanks for all the cool videos. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Michael. He made the posters from old preview magazines. Yes! Thanks, buddy. These are them right here. A whole stack of them that he made. Very creative. See? He doesn't use his paper to uh, roll in doobies. Let's see how creative our friend Mike Easy Comic Reader is. Oh, my God. These are going on the, like you said, on the uh, filing cabinet. Look at this. Love it, man. Oh my god, thank you, bro. Who needs comics? Oh my lord. Here's old Wingfoot. Gordon Gordon Wingfoot. Sundown, you better take care. Love it. How do you do this, Easy? These are cardboard, man. Oh my lord. Yes! Deathlock! Oh my gosh! These are perfect! This is what I need! The Mighty Thor! Beautiful. You hear that? That's rigid cardboard. I don't know how you do it, buddy. But you do it! Down in sunny South Texas. Ah, uh, Punisher and Moon Knight. Oh, that's sick! That's uh, me and the Colorado kid when we go out at night. We raise heck. They're like, you're in the wrong saloon, you hombre. Lady Marania, comic books at her feet. Oh, yeah, now. Now we speak her. You speak my language. Look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, I see, I see the, the mind at work with uh, Easy Comic Reader. That's his little diagrams. He's like, all right, carry the two. I have a remainder of three. Look at that. Look at that Conan. Oh my God. Thank you so much, man. Oh, it keeps coming. Yes. Oh, do you have these in wallet size? I need, I need more. Oh yeah. Oh, it keeps coming. The Savage Avengers even. We should go over that. I got all, I got the whole run. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. El Capitan. Hello, Capitan. Easy. You're the best, bro. You're the best. These are great. Thank you so much, man. Look at this. These are the real postcards. This one's, that's the, the real deal of Vander Holyfield. Thank you so much. I will cherish 
my letter. This goes over here. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Let's get back to my awesome comics from Easy Comic Reader. Marvel Team Up issue 145. I need it. Oh, man. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. All right. Okay. 144. These are all the ones I don't have. Moon Knight. Dude, I got like almost a whole run of uh, Marvel team up after this. 148 with the Thor. Look at Spidey try. He's like, oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, boy. This is great. I wish it would keep raining like it is up here right now so I could stay in for a week and just read. Marvel team up. And the Human Torch, issue number 147, Pawns of the Black Abbot. Oh, man. I am rocking and rolling. Thank you, brother. Keep on coming. Issue number 139 with Nick Fury. Yes. One eleven Marvel team up. Devil Slayer. I would never I would never be able to find these. Thank you, man. Look at all the heads. That's awesome. 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 Oh, my favorite Nighthawk. Issue number 101. I never saw this one. Thank you so much, man. You guys, I know there's a lot of Nighthawk fans out there. Issue number 128, Marvel Team Up. Spidey, I never saw this. Look at this cell uh, cover, man. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's sick. Spider-Man and the Human Torch, 121. I need these. I need all of them. Thank you, man. Issue number 123, Spider-Man and the Daredevil. I never saw this one either. This must be a Texas thing. Oh, yes. Spider-Man and the Gargoyle. Gargoyles, they, they need to use him more. Definitely. So Easy was on Psychotronic Squirt Gun uh, show. They were live. And that was it's Easy's first appearance on a live show. That's a Psychotronic Squirt Gun. I mean, that's a long name. I, his name is Aaron. But that's a very nice name too, Aaron. I call him Gunner. That's that's the whole nickname thing, you know? I mean, so Psychotronic Squirt Gun. That's like, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, Psychotronic Squirt Gun. I remember one of my early videos, I did the great title from Marvel, Super Pro, the football guy. <laughs> And I had the football equipment on, and I pretended I was in the huddle, and I called all the plays. I said, we're going to do the, the jambo block, and they're running the psychotronic squirt gun defense on us. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, I love Dominic Fortune. Oh, anything with Dominic Fortune and Paladin, I, I try to get. And now I got issue number 120, Marvel Team Up. Awesome. Ooh. Wow, issue number 105. Look at this cover, man. Wow, 105. Sweet Christmas. Hulk is like, me like blonde. Issue number 126. We're picking up sticks. Power Man and the Son of Satan. And obviously, uh, Mr. Green Jeans over there. They're... What a stack, dude. Issue number 88, Spider-Man and the Invisible Girl. Look, Spidey's invisible. Did you look at my list? Because uh, I don't have any of these. Spider-Man and the Falcon. Issue number 71, When Dies a Legend. Look at Cap down there. It's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, man. Oh, I got a stomach bug. Oh, boy. Give me a pair of trousers, will you? And hits is it, baby. Marvel team up. Spider-Man and Nomad. Yes, Nomad makes an appearance. And there's uh, the Taskmaster. It looks like he's the Taskmaster guy. That's issue number 146. He's picking up sticks. Thank you, brother. Awesome. 
Marvel Classics. Easy. Thank you so much, man. You didn't have to do that, man, but you did because you're a great guy and everyone knows it. For real. This goes out to my buddy, Ron Foss. Get well soon, man. All right? I just want to show some. Uh, I grabbed some Aquamans to show you real quick. And these are some nice old Dick Cardi covers. Aquaman issue number 26. Ogre has you on its timetable of terror. Meet the Huntress. This is where uh, Aquaman and Mira, they actually go to a resort to chill out. And they have to battle these idiots down. You know, they're, they're causing trouble. This is back in uh, April of 66. Aquaman was picking up sticks. What do you think, Ron, huh? Ron, keep your head up, man. We all go through these things in our life sometimes, man. They throw, they, they throw curves balls at us sometimes, life, man. We get through it one day at a time. That's what I had to do. I have two copies of this one. I have one hanging over there. It's like condition of, whoa. This is issue number 30. And Aquaman is lying around like a lazy lima bean. I like it because Hawkman's like, la da dee, la da da da. And there's Metamorpho. Hey, Mofo. This is a December of 66, Dick Cardi. Bob Haney was writing. And this is Aquaman going, why? Why? In uh, January of 68, Aquaman forgot to close the gate. There's his little buddy, Tusky. I got two copies of that. Aquaman, help me, please. This is issue number 40. Nice. Death lurks in the trail on the ring. All the fish are attacking him. He's like, no, no. I said the other way, you idiot. Those are mackerels. He's going, holy mackerel. Holy mackerels. Everyone I met, I'm talking, there's a whole list of people. I mean, I'm called Jax. I mean, George Snyder, Sean Peters, Ranger Sly, uh, Riga Mortis, Ed Collector. Everybody. Everybody's out there. I mean, Rob Brown, all these people I met. Riga Morris, everybody. Everyone I, I talked to, man. I mean, the difference between last, a year ago to now, I mean, I literally had no one to talk to about comics. Nobody. I was a loser. A garbage-picking loser. June of 1970. This is issue number 51. And this is issue number 52. This is a cool cover. I always like this one. I like the coloring. I do, I do. Jim Apero was doing the art inside these, and uh, he's awesome. August of 70. This is the, the Trader Trap. And um, Steve Skeets was writing. And this is issue number 53. Is California sinking? I hope so. I hope so. I'm only kidding. I hope not. Man. And, uh, yep, he's fighting Black Manta in here. Black Manta's up to some shenanigans. And, uh... It's good stuff. Good stuff. Issue number 54. Am I my own executioner? Aquaman's like, ah! Yeah. This is the, actually the first appearance of Thanatos. I know that sounds like a medication commercial. Yes, Thanatos. Causes anal leakage and eyes bleeding. Issue number 55. Help me! I can't stop myself from shrinking into the world of... He's shrinking into a ring. Nice. And now we're going to go to issue number 61. He's... Oh, yeah, he's going against Cobra. Cobra! And this is... We're gonna, I grabbed some adventure comics with some Aquaman, starring Aquaman. The sensational supervillain out to hook Aquaman. Watch out for the fisherman. Fisherman's funny. He's a funny dude. And that's a, a, an Ugat wrote on the comic. On my dolphin. That's not a dolphin with a tattoo. That's an Ugat. Here's another Adventurous Comics. Issue number 445. Aquaman's like, ah, 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 ah. And Adventure Comics, issue number 447. He's punching the... the uh, the angler right here right in the face. And the, the creeper is a second story. Adventure Comics, issue number 478. Close the gate. And, oh, 
Uh, I could just show you some. What the time? We're running late, guys. I have. Listen, Ron. Get well. Do what the doctors say, man. Do your rehab one day at a time, buddy. I have a whole long box full of Aquaman's. I'll show you some other day. All right. I'm going on and on. He's also a big Superman fan, Ron. If you were here, I'd play you this album. This is Superman uh, does the best hits from Iron Maiden. It's so good. He's like, run to the hills. Run for your life. You know what? Let me just show you some different stuff with Superman on it. Here is a trade, limited collector's edition, the best of DC. There's Superman saying, hey, how are you, Ron? Get better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. There's the back cover. You got fire hair, Flash, Batman. Oh, here's Superman and the Flash. Go, Flash, go! Go, Flash, go! There's Hawkman. If you look, there's Hawkman. Now at the Hall of Justice. Spider-Man and Superman. Treasury. And this is a special Superman issue. DC Comics, Amazing World of Superman. Alright? And this has some nice inside scoops on Superman. Alright? There ain't a kryptonite out there. I don't care what color it is that could keep my man Ron Foss down. Look at the back. Isn't that great? And there was a nice sketch in here done by an artist. I don't know who's... But that's a cool sketch. You see Superman all chained up on the bed? That's a hard angle to draw. But it's a cool book. All right. I wanted to share that with Ron. And then, what else we got? We got stuff. We got stuff. We got stuff. Here's Superman and Spidey. Oh, yeah, baby. They're profiling. Superman the movie. Christopher Reeves. Oh, yeah. Classic. The first movie I ever saw on a color TV was this. This is always a good book to have. Secret Origins of Superheroes by DC. I always thought this was cool. I mean, imagine Easy Comic Reader taking some scissors to this thing. Oh, yeah, baby. And what else? We got Superman and his Fortress of Solitude treasury. With his giant key. He's like, can you get the door? I got the groceries. Superman and Wonder Woman. Look at her yelling at him. You, you, you left the toilet seat to up. You, you, you. And this is a Superman treasury with that kid on his back again. And let's see. Let me just show you some pocket books real quick for, with Superman. This is the digest of Superman. I don't know what number it is, but this is, oh, 32, all right, this is 13, DC Comics Presents. That was one of the first uh, couple, three or four videos I did was the whole run of DC Presents. And Superman Saga. And Superman, the year's best Superman stories. Listen, guys, I love you guys. Thank you for the best year I ever had. Thank you so, so much. You're the best. I don't even have a song. I don't have a song. I don't have a song. Beckerman is the man. He's like Stan Lee 
with a tan. I hope Ron gets well soon. My brother-in-law looks like a baboon. You guys get some paper and do some art. Because you read your comics and they make you smart. Read your comics, they make you smart.